in the mathematical field of graph theory, the Laplacian matrix, sometimes called admittance matrix, Kirchhoff matrix or discrete Laplacian, is a matrix representation of a graph. Together with Kirchhoff's theorem, it can be used to calculate the number of spanning trees for a given graph. The Laplacian matrix can be used to find many other properties of the graph. Chiege's inequality from Riemannian geometry has a discrete analog involving the Laplacian matrix. This is perhaps the most important theorem in spectral graph theory and one of the most useful facts in algorithmic applications. It approximates the sparsest cut of a graph through the second eigenvalue of its Laplacian. Definition Given a simple graph G with n vertices, its Laplacian matrix is defined as where D is the degree matrix and A is the adjacency matrix of the graph. In the case of directed graphs either the in-degree or out-degree might be used, depending on the application. The elements of a given by where deg, by, is degree of the vertex I. The symmetric normalized Laplacian matrix is defined as the elements of a given by. The random walk normalized Laplacian matrix is defined as the elements of a given by. Example, here is a simple example of a labeled graph and its Laplacian matrix. Properties, for an graph G and its Laplacian matrix L with eigenvalues, L is symmetric. L is positive semi-definite. This is verified in the incidence matrix section. This can also be seen from the fact that the Laplacian is symmetric and diagonally dominant. L is an M matrix. Every row sum and column sum of L is zero. Indeed, in the sum, the degree of the vertex is summed with a minus one for each neighbor. In consequence, because the vector satisfies, the number of times zero appears as an eigenvalue in the Laplacian is the number of connected components in the graph. The smallest non-zero eigenvalue of L is called the spectral gap. The second smallest eigenvalue of L is the algebraic connectivity of G. The Laplacian is an operator on the n-dimensional vector space of functions f, v a, where v is the vertex set of g, and n equals v. When g is k-regular, the normalized Laplacian is, where a is the adjacency matrix and i is an identity matrix. For a graph with multiple connected components, L is a block diagonal matrix, where each block is the respective Laplacian matrix for each component, possibly after reordering the vertices. Laplacian matrix is singular. Incidence matrix. Define an X-oriented incidence matrix M with element M for edge E and vertex V given by. Then the Laplacian matrix L satisfies. Where is the matrix transpose of M? Now consider an E again decomposition of, with unit norm eigenvectors and corresponding eigenvalues. Because can be written as the inner product of the vector with itself, this shows that and so the eigenvalues of are all non-negative. Deformed Laplacian, the deformed Laplacian is commonly defined as where I is the unit matrix, A is the adjacency matrix, and D is the degree matrix, and S is a number. Note that the standard Laplacian is just symmetric normalized Laplacian, the normalized Laplacian is defined as where L is the Laplacian, a is the adjacency matrix and D is the degree matrix. Since the degree matrix D is diagonal and positive, its reciprocal square root is just the diagonal matrix whose diagonal entries are the reciprocals of the positive square roots of the diagonal entries of D. The symmetric normalized Laplacian is a symmetric matrix. One has, where S is the matrix whose rows are indexed by the vertices and whose columns are indexed by the edges of G such that each column corresponding to an edge E equals U, V has an entry in the row corresponding to U, an entry in the row corresponding to V, and has zero entries elsewhere. All eigenvalues of the normalized Laplacian are real and non-negative. We can see this as follows. Since it's symmetric, its eigenvalues are real. They are also non-negative. Consider an eigenvector G of with eigenvalue I, and suppose. Then. Where we use the inner product, a sum over all vertices V, and denotes the sum over all unordered pairs of adjacent vertices U, V. The quantity is called the Dirichlet sum of F, whereas the expression is called the Rayleigh quotient of G. Let 1 be the function which assumes the value 1 on each vertex. Then as an eigenfunction of with eigenvalue 0. 
In fact, the eigenvalues of the normalized symmetric Laplacian satisfy 0 equals I 1 quarter 0 a per mil currency. A per mil currency I 1 quarter N 1 a per mil 2 currency. These eigenvalues relate well to other graph invariants for general graphs. Random walk normalized Laplacian The random walk normalized Laplacian is defined as where A is the adjacency matrix and D is the degree matrix. Since the degree matrix D is diagonal, its inverse is simply defined as a diagonal matrix, having diagonal entries which are the reciprocals of the corresponding positive diagonal entries of D. For the isolated vertices, a common choice is to set the corresponding element to zero. This convention results in a nice property that the multiplicity of the eigenvalue zero is equal to the number of connected components in the graph. The matrix elements of a given by. The name of the random walk normalized Laplacian comes from the fact that this matrix is simply the transition matrix of a random walker on the graph. For example let denote the ith standard basis vector then is a probability vector representing the distribution of a random walker's locations after taking a single step from vertex that is. More generally if the vector is a probability distribution of the location of a random walker on the vertices of the graph then is the probability distribution of the walker after steps. One can check that, that is, is similar to the normalized Laplacian. For this reason, even if is in general not her mission, it has real eigenvalues. Indeed, its eigenvalues agree with those of up to a reflection about one half. In some of the literature, the matrix is also referred to as the random walk Laplacian since its properties approximate those of the standard discrete Laplacian from numerical analysis. Equals graphs equals, as an aside about random walks on graphs, consider a simple undirected graph. Consider the probability that the walker is at the vertex I at time t. Given the probability distribution that he was at vertex j at time t1, or in matrix vector notation, equilibrium, which sets in as, is defined by. We can rewrite this relation as, is a symmetric matrix called the reduced adjacency matrix. So, taking steps on this random walk requires taking powers of, which is a simple operation because is symmetric. Interpretation as the discrete Laplace operator. The Laplacian matrix can be interpreted as a matrix representation of a particular case of the discrete Laplace operator. Such an interpretation allows one, for example, to generalize the Laplacian matrix to the case of graphs with an infinite number of vertices and edges, leading to a Laplacian matrix of an infinite size. To expand upon this, we can describe the change of some element as in matrix vector notation, which gives Notice that this equation takes the same form as the heat equation, where the matrix L is replacing the Laplacian operator. Hence, the graph Laplacian. To find a solution to this differential equation, apply standard techniques for solving a first-order matrix differential equation. That is, write as a linear combination of eigenvectors of L, with time-dependent, plugging into the original expression, whose solution is, as shown before. The eigenvalues of L are non-negative, showing that the solution to the diffusion equation approaches an equilibrium, because it only exponentially decays or remains constant. This also shows that given in the initial condition, the solution at any time t can be found. To find for each in terms of the overall initial condition, simply project onto the unit norm eigenvectors. In the case of undirected graphs, this works because is symmetric, and by the spectral theorem, its eigenvectors are all orthogonal. So the projection onto the eigenvectors of is simply an orthogonal coordinate transformation of the initial condition to a set of coordinates which decay exponentially and independently of each other. Equals equilibrium behavior equals, to understand, note that the only terms that remain are those where, since. In other words, the equilibrium state of the system is determined completely by the kernel of. Since by definition, the vector of all ones is in the kernel. Note also that if there are disjoint connected components in the graph, then this vector of all ones can be split into the sum of independent eigenvectors of ones and zeros, where each connected component corresponds to an eigenvector with ones at the elements in the connected component and zeros elsewhere. 
the consequence of this is that for a given initial condition for a graph with vertices, where for each element of, that is for each vertex in the graph, it can be rewritten as. In other words, at steady state, the value of converges to the same value at each of the vertices of the graph, which is the average of the initial values at all of the vertices. Since this is the solution to the heat diffusion equation, this makes perfect sense intuitively. We expect that neighboring elements in the graph will exchange energy until that energy is spread out evenly throughout all of the elements that are connected to each other. Equals example of the operator on a grid equals. This section shows an example of a function diffusing over time through a graph. The graph in this example is constructed on a 2D discrete grid, with points on the grid connected to their eight neighbors. Three initial points are specified to have a positive value, while the rest of the values in the grid are zero. Over time, the exponential decay acts to distribute the values at these points evenly throughout the entire grid. The complete MATLAB source code that was used to generate this animation is provided below. It shows the process of specifying initial conditions, projecting these initial conditions onto the eigenvalues of the Laplacian matrix, and simulating the exponential decay of these projected initial conditions. Approximation to the negative continuous Laplacian, the graph Laplacian matrix can be further viewed as a matrix form of an approximation to the Laplacian operator obtained by the finite difference method. In this interpretation, every graph vertex is treated as a grid point. The local connectivity of the vertex determines the finite difference approximation stencil at this grid point, the grid size is always one for every edge, and there are no constraints on any grid points which corresponds to the case of the homogeneous Newman boundary condition, that is, free boundary. In directed multigraphs, an analog of the Laplacian matrix can be defined for directed multigraphs. In this case the Laplacian matrix L is defined as where D is a diagonal matrix with D, I equal to the out degree of vertex I and A is a matrix with I, J equal to the number of edges from I to J. See also Stiffness matrix, resistance distance. References T. Sonada, Discrete Geometric Analysis, Proceedings of Symposia in Pure Mathematics 77, 51 86. B. Bolivar S., Modern Graph Theory, Springer Verlag, ISBN 0 387 98488 7, Chapters 23, 82, 92.